This illusion is called Whispers of the Ushering Amygdala. Sort of an ode to one of my favorite books, Anil's Ghost, which I've mentioned before, and my later epiphany and the overall synchronicity of the situation. As the second to last page of my 9x12 canvas paper pad, I was still striving, as I said in a previous video, to select concepts I thought I could execute well while also pushing myself to better my portfolio. Not that my work had exactly stagnated, so as it was, I felt I was under-representing myself with my art. And at this point in my life, and in my art journey, I thought I should have expanded more. I don't know if it was the tone of the concept sketch, but after I redrew it on the canvas, I almost erased it because I felt underwhelmed by it. When in retrospect, this sketch is very, very deep, <laughs> and it is damn near tiny in contrast to my other paintings on this pad. I really have no clue why I drew it so small. I know that I struggled a little bit with like trying to put it on the paper proportions, like the proportions of it in accordance to the paper, because it's 9 by 12 and it's, you know, because it's narrow, but then the concept itself was kind of, I don't know. I could have probably done with a smaller, a smaller surface in something of a different shape, but I executed it very well in 10 minutes over an hour, so an hour and 10 minutes. I don't know why I said it that way. That's just how it came to me. This figure is staggering. Its momentum has carried it into a run, out of control, seemingly downwards. Inevitably, it fumbles with its hands, surrendering to the outcome, whatever it may be. It reaches to clasp its hands together. In a time of crisis, desperation, it seeks to cast out one final prayer, an attempt at hope, or to find faith before it falls, only to raise its hands up through its gaping torso. And as it attempts to draw its hands together, in such a haste, the fingers miss each other, and, although headless, the figure registers despair, failing. To touch and have hope. Literally and figuratively, this is the moment the illusion captures. I love it. I adore it. Although, when I first finished it, I was again underwhelmed. And it's crazy because it, it holds so much meaning. Though I found, sometimes more often than not, it's not until I look at my paintings in the pictures that I've taken that I've grasped them, you know? It's like I'm shrouded in a fog of bias and self-contempt, maybe, but motivated, nonetheless, to continue on. My process is strange. Now, it's interesting to note, as I did two paintings on this day, throwing caution to the side, I'm like, I I'm ready to close this up. <laughs> I'm ready. My final two paintings are rather dark. It seems like, for the end, I went dark. Dreadfully deadly. Please do watch my next video for the final painting of this 20, and consider liking or leaving a comment about this painting, how it makes you feel, if you feel anything at all when you look at it. I really appreciate it, and I appreciate you as a viewer. So, if you take any away from this video, anything at all, it is art, truly art, and art goes on, so I will in my next video. Thank you for watching.